overland gear. Organize your stuff. Enjoy your time outside. 100% made in the U.S. of A. Day one. Early, early part of the trip, really. You know, I guess we started at 10, 30, or 11 this morning. It's not quite two yet, so just getting into it. Well, we're Tennessee, about to cross over in North Carolina, probably, I'd say, in the next hour or so, maybe. But uh, it's sort of cutting through narrow section of Tennessee right now. Four and a half hours, give or take. 271 miles. Are you to ready exact. to be on gravel now, or what? Yes, I'm ecstatic to be on gravel right now. Dealt with a sentence from a doctor man. Come to Oklahoma to die. Typically we go north to south, um, but for this trip, in some of the places that we wanted to stop and tell stories about, the logistics only made sense for us to go um, south to north. So getting out and doing it, man, that's what that's what I'm looking forward to most. I think this is this is pretty exciting stuff. Seem to be passed by. Tornadoes came me. I'm sure there's gonna be some interesting things that are gonna be happening. Right now it's uh, pretty heavy, steady rain, and it's keeping the dust off the roads, that's for sure. Um, I prefer cool, spring-type wet weather over hot, dry, dusty roads, in my opinion. So uh, we're getting what we want. Those are good, man. What is good? Can't beat blackberries, you know, beside the road on the trail, man. It's like one of the Look best things ever. Yeah, Spend yeah, super excited about it. I thought we were gonna be just doing gravel and pavement most of the day today. We're at about six o'clock now, but we definitely got in some good, uh, some good trail work. That was that was good, and about looks like we're about to get into some more fun stuff as we head toward camp tonight, hopefully. Only the imminent sign of death could take me from those hills. Well, yeah, I mean, reluctantly I came. Oh, you mean how soft? How deep is this? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. I think that's like including the drop. I'd say it's sort of. Oh no. Yeah, it wouldn't be that bad. It's pretty hard. Trying to get through this hole right here. I don't know if we're gonna. If we go this way, it's gonna want to toss us onto that bank, but it's not gonna really do anything. It's not gonna flip us over or anything. So that might be. There's no flipping over. That so might be the best max option. Tracks. We could put a max tracks right there. I don't really know that we really need it. Yeah. It's not gonna go up on that little slope. take a left up here at the intersection and uh, so seven hours 20 miles I mean I'm confident tomorrow is gonna be nothing but gravel but I have a, I have a bad problem of saying that and then we end up on our trails which is not a bad thing you know but we're having a good time and we got five days to do this and it's an adventure that's what it's all about Jeremy uh, we're gonna saute this down real slow and infuse the oils. 
toss it into with the pasta and then add some Parmesan and just sort of let it sit and marinate. So is that? And then we're going to make some uh, bruschetta, toast some bread on the scottle and then, uh, you know, put some tomatoes and basil and all that yummy basil goodness right on top of that toast. And then we're going to eat that pasta and it's going to be super good. Yeah, the, the key to this garlic and this oil is just cooking it very slow so that oil just gets really, really infused and the garlic cooks nice and soft and doesn't scorch. My wife and I were in Rome, we, all we would eat was bruschetta. Like, it was like, if we saw bruschetta on the menu, we were like, bruschetta it is. And it was always <laughs> fabulous. So bruschetta has become one of our favorite things because we love basil. It's probably my favorite. Probably the best, one of the best herbs you can cook with. Yes. One, two, three. We're gonna hit the road and head down uh, Old Catalucci Turnpike, and then um, somewhere around Cherokee. We're gonna take a break today, and then we've got another stop at uh, the Judagala Rock. So, ought to make for a pretty interesting day. I mean, yesterday was trails and some hardcore shit, and today's gonna be gravel roads. So, pretty excited. This story for the end and How I came to catch him And I just had to be there and This is where my courage would settle in So much memory lost Took a stumble earlier, so much nothing's pain. no big deal Just dropped about 30 feet <laughs> <laughs> On its top? <laughs> yeah. Ah, nice yeah, I so, thought it was pulling to the right or something. Yeah, yeah, after it dropped, it was pulling to the right. Yeah. yeah, well, when I was looking at it, it was sort of like, but we'll get these replaced here, we'll be back in the air here in just a few minutes. Things are pretty tough, man. Uh, looking in the rear view mirror when it happened, and I saw drone collision with branch, and drone fell about 20 to 30 feet upside down upside and landed. Down. It was definitely upside And bounced. And bounced. bounced. Yeah, bounced hard. Yeah. <laughs> it looked pretty decent. Much better than the, these. Yeah, we can. Should always recycle everything, no matter what it is. Cardboard, plastic, even changing windshield wipers. That's how. That's how you get recycling. Change your windshield wipers. You know, we're here on our second trip of season two, and you know, we're here kind of checking out some of the, um, you know, Indian folklore sort of, you know, things that are mysteries to us still, I guess, in a way. We're actually here at Judicala Rock. It's um, sort of a Indian heritage, Native American folklore site, I guess you could say. Basically, Judicala Rock is a big, giant soapstone boulder in the ground, and um, what I've read and researched on it, there's nothing else like it anywhere else, and it has these crazy hieroglyphics on it. Um, some of the folklore is that it, they were done by a creature that could literally leap from mountaintop to mountaintop, and that was his writing, so that was, you know, whatever kind of creature he would have been, who knows, alien, it's hard to say, but um, he actually put all those hieroglyphics on the rock, and they actually say there's a six-fingered handprint there, um, and they say he was uh, trying to cross the rock, and he slipped and fell and put his hand out to catch itself. So, but, uh, you know, supposedly there's some really cool, you know, things on the rock, and we'll go check those out. We're on the top of this mountain between Silva and Asheville, somewhere in North Carolina. Wonderful. Big, nice, open space with a big tree above us. The terrain is really, really steep up and down here, and then you get up and you stay, you know, sort of in the clouded mist. I guess that's why they call it the Smoky Mountains, because, um, you know, there always seems to be like this mist kind of hanging out over these mountains, but uh, the terrain is rugged, and, you know, it's easily as rugged as anywhere else we've been. Uh, this is an excellent spot. It's much nicer this evening. The sun's out and everybody's pretty good mood, I think. Good spirits. 
and um, we're just enjoying life, having a good time. This is pretty sweet. We got a couple hammocks set up. We've got the tents up on top of the trucks. The awning's out. Yeah, this is what it's all about, man. Getting away and giving yourself some time to think about stuff. You know? Jeremy. Covering up the man bits. <laughs> We're out in the jungle now. You gotta wear your, you gotta wear your leaf loin, the leaf loin cloth. Very cool. Salute to Adam. This is, you know, this is a salute to Adam right here. <laughs> Go all natural. <laughs> <laughs>